Hello, this is Scott Washi, and I am going to show you how to install Actor X into Maya 2009 specifically, um, so you can export animations and skeletal meshes into Unreal Tournament 3. Um, this really works with any version of Maya, but I'll just be showing the 2009 version because that is the most current and up-to-date version. Alright, so what you're going to do is just search for Actor X online. It should be the first thing that comes up um, on the Unreal Developer Network's uh, website. Here you just find the appropriate plugin for your uh, program that you're using. In this case, Maya 32-bit for me. Um, it's just a plugin, really small file that you just extract after you download and then what you do is put that into your plugins folder which if you have my 2009 it'll be under C drive program files autodesk my 2009 bin plugins uh, now I already have it here so I don't have to reinstall it so I'll just delete that so when you open up Maya you'll have to make sure the plugins running what you'll do is go to window settings preferences plugin manager and there you want to click on load and auto load and refresh it and that's basically it um, to pull up actor x what you'll do is in the mail script area down here you'll type in axe main now this is for um, skeletal meshes and animations and just hit enter and when you do you get the um, uh, where the, you get the settings for the actor act where you get to choose which um, output folder you want to have everything saved to um, the mesh when you have it all white mapped and rigged and everything um, you can export the skeletal mesh that way and then the animation file name uh, which will be the dot PSA I forgot to mention the skeletal mesh uh, right here is going to be a dot PSK that's, that's the skeletal mesh and the animation mesh is going to be dot PSA and then um, that the animation file name is the file name for where all your animations are going to be stored in and an animation sequence name is for each individual animation file the range will be for what um, keyframes are going to be saved in that animation sequence um, digesting it plays it through and saves it into the uh, sequence and then the animation manager allows you to edit so I'll do that in another video. Goodbye.